So welcome to my channel. Um, this is my channel for my RC cars. Uh, the first project I'm going to do on this channel is a build, um, full kit build. It's going to be a drift car. Um, I'll show you in a second. But basically I have a kit that I've had for a while and I wanted to build it and I figured just make a YouTube um, series kind of thing. Going through building it and um, setting it all up and learning how to drive it. Um, but without further ado, I'll show you what I got. Let me see. So here it is. That's not working. So here it is. Uh, this is a car D4 rear wheel drive um, kit. Like I said, so this is gonna be the first project, ongoing project on the channel. Um, uh, I, I like drifting. If you look back there, that's my HPI uh, Sprint 2 drift all-wheel drive. Still, um, I bought that and I liked it. So uh, when these came out, I bought one and I've had it since then, and it's been in kit form. So I decided to just do a build series on it. So. Um, I got it all together. Uh, it actually took me a good amount of time to get it together. Um, I think the front and back lower control arms I took apart three times a piece and put back on. Um, so it was definitely a learning um, learning experience I'm putting it together. But I wanted to build it like this to learn how the whole thing goes together so then when I take it apart you know and add stuff to it so here it is uh, wasn't that hard of a kit to build like I said I do have some issues <laughs> with the lower suspension um, and of course the pain shocks and Eclipse but besides that it was pretty simple so I lost one screw completely lost it um, but the good thing with losing one screw is I had to order screws so I ordered some parts for this already um, let me walk over here. To be honest, I actually have um, when I when I bought the kit, I actually bought one upgrade for this, and um, so this is gonna be the first upgrade I do. So, like I said, I wanted to build it so I can see how it, it all goes together. Um, and then so this is the upgrade I do have uh, from Boom Racing. It is the aluminum front upper adjustable arms mono shock system. So here it is right here from Boom Racing. Uh, like I said, I did buy this when I got the car. Uh, I think the mono shock is super cool. I don't know if it's better than dual shocks or not. Uh, I don't know enough about real wheel drive drifting but this is the first upgrade that I'm going to do um, servo motor ESC receiver but like I said I did buy some more stuff uh, when I ordered the screws that I needed the well, the one screw I needed but I needed a pack of 10 the only other thing is I don't have lipos I just have regular battery packs nickel metal hydride so um, the battery pack is kind of tight in there so I'm going to have to figure that out whether I just notch out right here well on this side just notch out this plastic here for the wires to come through it's not a big deal um, but there she is and I hope you follow, follow along as the build process goes but I got her into rolling chassis that's what I wanted to do and I have a little my intercooler I had it for my uh, HPI but it never really fit and I never really got into modifying it so I just slapped it on here real quick so but she's a roller now and now we're gonna go on and uh, put some parts on her and get her running but like I said um, I hope you follow along um, and I honestly uh, will probably have questions that hopefully other people can answer for me so and the biggest one to start with is is this mono shock a better setup than the dual shocks either way we're gonna find out but maybe somebody can help me uh, with adjustments 
Anyway, thanks for watching.